Hey what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel today we have episode number 11 of the Cardiff City career mode on FIFA 19 thank you guys so much for the support in the previous episode um, I tried to leave it for a few days to upload this video um, obviously I don't want to obviously I do and I don't at the same time I'm just going to ramble on for a quick minute or two I do want to push my content in terms of like uploading every day but then in a sense I don't feel like it's best to do that for me at this point because I feel like over like a two day period more people start to watch the videos and the views start to grow up not grow up they start to grow over two days instead of if I think I did it every day I think per episode the views would drop so I think leaving a two day gap or a three day gap is much better than um, just straight uploading every day because it's I don't know. I just don't. I don't know. I just think that's better. Let me know what you think. If I should upload, try and upload daily, or just do what I've been doing, and um, leaving gaps in between episodes. Um, but obviously, there is the Wolfsburg career mode, which can fill the gaps for Cardiff. What I wanted to do was do um, simultaneously, like one day Wolfsburg, one day Cardiff, one day Wolfsburg, one day um, Cardiff. So that's kind of how I wanted to work it out. But I just haven't got the because obviously most of this footage you're seeing. Um, in the next few episodes is all pre-recorded kind of videos like I have it backed up for the Wolfsburg one I don't have any clips recorded I just have um, what's it called I just have um, like I record it and then I'll edit it I don't have any files saved so yeah um, I'm not too sure what to do about that anyway moving on into this episode we have also got <clears throat> a game against um, Manchester United uh, in the round of 16, I do believe, in the FA Cup. Um, so, obviously, we did take take out Liverpool, taking out Preston so far in this um, Cup run. I'm looking, I really am looking to push on and win this to try and get some sort of, I don't know, Cup expectations in terms of winning something this season. Because this is the only competition we're in and obviously we're not going to win the title this season. So, yeah, um, I'm just kind of holding on to this to try and... Um, <clears throat> try and get something achievable this season so far um obviously for the first season anyway um i'm a bit sick at the moment so if you could tell that in my voice then i do apologize i can't really help it but i didn't want to miss uploading i just wanted to keep going um so yeah that's why i'll probably be sniffing and coughing and whatever anyway moving on we just nearly we nearly scored um with camarasa there edge of the box a really really nice shot and we just couldn't really get get anything going here. And then uh, Loftus Cheek tries to get a shot off, doesn't get it anywhere. Doesn't even get the shot off. Harry Hart, Hoylet plays it in. Great save from Romeo. He literally saved United throughout this um, game. He was quality for for United. Um, but we we were playing some really nice football. And the ball gets shifted over to Hoylet here. He cuts inside nutmegs. I think Darmian that was. And, like, again, what a save from Romeu. He's tipped it past the post. Goes for a corner. Shock and corner. Pulper does head the ball away. And we do get another corner, which I do take immediately. Whipped it in. Free header. Patterson just, and I mean just, over the crossbar. I don't know how that didn't go in. Anyway, moving on. 40th minute uh, approaching now. Ball gets played out to Hoyler. He plays out to Cunningham. Into Hoyler again. He plays it inside to Loftus-Cheek. Lays Camarasa off, and it's a really good block from Fred there, otherwise that probably could have gone in the bottom corner. Um, we do get a corner here. Whipped in. Both players went up for the header, missed the ball um, in terms of a shot. Didn't really trouble the keeper or anything like that. Uh, and then United just go to go to possession mode, really. Um, they're just keeping the ball away from me. Harry Arter does well to win the ball back and tackle him. Uh, I think, yeah, it was against Darmian. <clears throat> and then the youngster, Chong... Um, he, he actually played very well, um, this youngster, for United. Ball gets whipped into the back post around um, Rashford. <clears throat> and it does, uh, in fact, get clear. And we do counter-attack United here. A really nice play here. Origi gets the ball. Plays it into Loftus-Cheek, who's literally broken through the back line. Slides it, or tries to slide in Hoyler. Does it the second time. Hoyler, don't know why I cut back. I should have just shot. Maybe claims for a penalty for a push on Hoylet, but probably that would never be a foul in real life probably not anyway moving on into the second half now great save from Dragovsky otherwise they probably would have scored there and um yeah moving on into their corner gets whipped in Bamba partially clears it 
Kurtz played in, laid off the Chong, this one touch passing was ruining me, and they score. <sighs> the youngster Chong getting a goal in the FA Cup against us, 1-0 down, not happy of that, just the way we couldn't clear the ball from a corner. Um, we do move on into the 53rd minute though, try to play a nice ball over the top, we do actually get the rebound back though for Loftus Street. he plays the ball into Origi, out to Hoyler, he cuts in, uh, back outside, and um, Cunningham on the wing, Romeu lost his cheek, all he had to do was just dink it over that defender and we would have scored but unfortunately the defender blocked it with his chest there and um, yeah, Narsing now, great chance to score and he's just offside, I thought he was onside and um, we could have made that 1-1 but unfortunately he was offside, another chance here, Hoylet very busy in this game, shot gets blocked, Harry Arter bangs it into the back of the net but unfortunately again he's offside and we do bring off Origi, unfortunately for him. Didn't have a great game, so he decided to bring on some fresh legs. And how Martial has scored from this, I will never know. Shocking defending to get the ball out. The marking at the back post was just not great. And then he's just on the floor, and Martial brings it down, runs inside, and shoots. Um, <clears throat> yeah, really, really annoying. I should not be, um, should not be conceding like that. Um, yeah. 2-0 down in the 90th minute now. I'm really gutted that we ended up losing this game because we really, really did do well in this cup run. It does come to an end. Really unfortunate. But anyway, we move on and we're into the Premier League now. <clears throat> Home game against uh, Watford here. Um, <coughs> sorry. Um, looking to um, bounce back from that United game and try and get ourselves a win. Because uh, obviously, like I said, we're kind of just floating around that 10th and 11th spot. Um, in the Premier League table so hopefully we can get some wins on the board and we can push up that table you never know imagine Cardiff getting a Europa League spot in the first season that'd be great and um, imagine if that happens you know anyway moving on you know this is just the start of the first half the ball's just getting played around from both sides and um, eventually Watford do gain more of the possession they're playing it around really nicely um, here Hughes plays a nice ball across we do clear it uh, eventually and we do go back up the other end. Loftus Cheek plays a nice ball to Narsing. He's got the pace uh, of the defender, cuts inside. Um, plays a nice ball to Origi. Origi back to Narsing. What can he do? He dinks it. Lo uh, Hoylet's there. It just I was spamming circle and he just didn't score. He didn't even shoot. Anyway, Hoylet now whips the ball in. Unlucky there because Loftus Cheek was waiting at the back post um, to score there. Anyway, Narsing into Loftus Cheek. He tries to play it back to Narsing and he does. Gets the shot off somehow. I did not expect him to shoot from there. Like I didn't expect him to get the ball. I was just spamming circle. And um, yeah, we got um, lucky there. We're going straight back at them here. Loftus Cheek into Hoylet. He cuts inside. Dinks the ball back post. Narsing's there. And unfortunately, the header is not close. And Loftus Cheek <clears throat> is offside from that attack. Uh, we do get another chance here. And it goes straight into the top corner of Camarasa. Really, really nice goal um, in the 23rd minute, I think that was. To put us 1-0 up, or 24th minute. Put us 1-0 up in the game. Really happy with that. He's started to score a couple of goals now for us. Since he got his first goal, he's started to score um, a couple more. Anyway, Narsing on the ball, inside the Hoyler. Well, he attempts to. I think he would have been offside if he actually touched the ball. So, <clears throat> I don't think that goal would have counted if he did end up scoring from that. Anyway, Watford do attack us just before half-time. Um, great save from the keeper again. Down low, the bottom corner. Um, they get a corner. Uh, not a great, it was a good delivery but no one really seemed to attack it and we just clear our lines, goes out for another corner and uh, unfortunately uh, my mic cut out there and yeah so we're going back on into uh, the corner um, we do actually end up clearing it out with Hoylet um, <coughs> and then uh, eventually yeah we clear it out and uh, we move on into the second half now guys and um, we win the ball back with Harry Arter, really well played from him um, driving on forward with Hoylet uh, into Origi, Origi into Loftus Cheek plays a nice ball over to Narsing Narsing gets the ball, waiting for the run from Origi, doesn't get it to him unfortunately, uh, Hoylet tries to get the ball there, does not win the header, and um, yeah, they uh, clear away with the ball, uh, pushing up here, Andre Gray with the ball, holding it up nicely, so nice build up play from Watford here, um, really nice play, uh, nice ball down to Delefeu, who picks the ball up, takes it past Bamba, and it's an awful cross from Delefeu, and uh, it goes out for a goal kick for us, um, which is lucky enough for us, and anyway, moving on, Origi wins the head up, nice ball down to Loftus Cheek from Narsing, uh, driving on in, cuts inside, uh, really well played there from Loftus Cheek, the shot gets blocked and it goes straight to the keeper, um, moving on, 
60th minute now approaching. Camarasa into the space, shoots. Good save from the keeper again. Um, making sure he kept hold of that one. Anyway, Origi gets the ball, whips it across to the back stick, and Narsing scores the goal to put us 2 0 up in this game against Watford. Really well played from Narsing again. Um, really, really nice ball from Origi to the back stick. And um, Narsing, yeah, the defender just misses it. Coolly finishes it through the keeper's legs. And uh, we do go 2 0 up. I did decide to bring on Ampadu for Camarasa. Um, just to strengthen the midfield and uh, give a bit more stamina to the team. I also brought on Rouse as well for Harriata. Same reason, just to bring a bit of fitness on. Um, obviously, we're getting into the later stages of this game. And I wanted to make sure that I did see off this win and didn't um, bottle the game or go 2-2 or 3-2 ine inevitably. Um, so, yeah, um, pushing on. 86th minute, Hoylet cuts inside. Um, and outside again, really well played, shoots, good save from Foster there um, to make sure that doesn't go 3-0 to us. Anyway, nearly at the last uh, bit of the game, um, we can try to attack there, unfortunately we couldn't make anything of it, but that is the end of the game, we do take down a 2-0 win, and now, time for a monthly scout update. Now, looking at the players, boom, first player straight away, Bradley Cooper, age 17, um, potential of 71 to 94 rated. I signed him up straight away. Um, a couple of them, Will Price, Charles Bennett, weren't great ratings. Joel King, I did like the look of him, so I signed him up. Sam Clark as well, signed him up. Really, really good high potentials there. Um, the other guys we're going to leave for now. I don't think I'll be signing them at any time or in the future, just because, I, yeah, um, they just weren't as good as, um, or weren't as, as appealing as the other two were. Um, but yeah, we move on into the last game of the episode, and it is against Wolves, um, an away fixture. Uh, Wolves, you know, newly promoted side as we are, uh, seem to set the ball rolling. Um, we literally have not touched the ball yet. Lovely one-touch passing from the two players there. De Jong into Adama Traore, and he puts it straight in the net. And we are 1-0 down within the first three minutes. Um, what to think of this? Not good, is it? Should, shouldn't be going down 1-0 in the first three minutes. Um, yeah, the defending was not great at all. Should have done much better with that. <clears throat> but I don't really know how to defend that uh, from a corner. Uh, no, from a uh, kickoff, sorry. And uh, they just literally one-touch passing throughout the whole of my back line. Um, yeah, really annoying with that. Anyway, ball gets whipped in. And Do Dorothy, I think it was, or Dorothy, he... Ah, first time volley into the top corner. Really, really, really annoying because there's just no defenders marking him. He's just in so much space at the back post. And they go 2 0 up within 15 minutes of the game. Look at this. What is the what is the defence doing there? I just don't get it. I just don't get it. Anyway, moving on. 18th minute now. They're pushing on again with Johnny, the left back. Um, was a free kick with the advantage, gets played. Adama Traore. What is Cunningham doing there? I just don't get it. I don't get what he was trying to do. He didn't even jump for the header with Adama. Adama just beats him in the air. Free header, essentially. And, yeah, uh, we do go 3-0 down. Very worrying. Anyway, Rigi picks the ball up. Great shot. Good save from Patricio, who kept Wolves in the game. I will tell you that for free. Um, literally everything that we had was saved by Patricio near enough, um, apart from a few... Um, like off shots and that but yeah it's just really frustrating when the keepers play well against me um, I can never seem to get goals against keepers like Patricio it just yeah just doesn't happen anyway ball gets rolled out um, but then we didn't really make anything of it but we do get the ball for it here plays a lovely little um, f um, I, uh, intelligent through ball is what I was looking for intelligent through ball there to Loftus-Cheek who drills into the top corner and we pull one back before the 80th minute now. You never know what can happen. We could um, uh, pull another one back. Um, and we do decide to bring on Mendes Lang for um, Hoyler. Uh, because Hoyler was getting a bit tired. Uh, at least he had a last contribution before he got subbed off assisting that goal. Um, so the, the kickoff was taken from Wolves. We win the ball back with um, Narsing. Lovely play from Harry Arter and Loftus Cheek. Harry Arter plays the ball into Lang. Lang into Loftus Cheek. Plays it on to Reed and Reed gets the goal. And it's the 82nd minute and it's 3 2 now. Can we push on and get that third goal? Loftus Cheek came off, I do believe, for. Um, who was it actually? I don't actually know. That is bad. Anyway, ball gets played across. Drilled it first time. Yeah. Um, what to make of this goal? 
Jota has just scored a screamer against me. I just don't understand how he scored that. Anyway, we um yeah we we just in a bit of bit of a trouble here, and um, it was coming towards the end of the game. I actually paused this um, for some reason. I don't know why, and I can't believe I've left this in the recording. Um, but anyway, we are coming to the last stages of the game. Um, frustrating times, you know. Four two. I don't. Ugh, four two. When we were literally it dragged two goals back within five minutes of the game. Get a chance there, Reed. Patricia has to make a dive and save. Really, really unlucky there from him. Corner whipped in. Mendes Lang. Who's there? Cunningham doesn't get the header there. Um, ball gets played to Murphy. Murphy into Patterson. Back to Murphy. Plays it across goal. Um, Morrison, the centre back, plays it inside to Arta. Shocking pass from Arta. And yeah, that is the end of the episode. Unfortunately, we do take another loss. Um, but yeah. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video as we do get one more chance for Murphy who doesn't even get the shot off. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace!